Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. A new update has arrived and they've added in some multiple stuff such as the replay tool, which is what we are going to be looking at today. And as you can see, this ship is flying, but it's not another player. It is myself from the past. And I am completely under attack by some planes. So what this tool does is basically you can record your actions, save them, and then record more actions as a different character which allows you to do some small scale fights. I was expecting it to be a large scale fight, but it does seem to crash after a certain number of recordings. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to set up and use the replay tool, which I've been having a lot of fun with. It's amazing how many hours you can waste with this tool. So I've loaded into a creative world and I'm going to press Alt F10 and it's gonna bring up the admin screen. You'll probably be sitting on the admin tools right here and then you get this drop down menu where you can just come down to replay tool. Now the replay tool is how we're going to record all our actions and we have a lot of options and some instructions on the screen but I'm just going to ignore them and tell you a little bit of how it works. So the add character button will spawn in more of yourself. These are the actors who are going to be doing all the acting. You need to bear in mind that you will need a extra character if you're going to be moving vehicles because for some odd reason I can't get the characters to go into a cockpit so I need to have a second character to be already in the cockpit in order to have the vehicle move away but I'll come on to that a little bit later on. So once you spawned in the characters you need you can then close this menu and save your game. Very important you save your game here because there's going to be a lot of world reloading. So I'm going to open the menu up again and press F6. F6 lets you swap between the characters. And let's say you didn't want to have the cow skin. You can change your skin to whatever you have in your Steam inventory. But I'm just going to ignore that for now. But once you've got that done, once you've all set up, it's time to start recording. So I'm going to have my character here and I want him to walk around those steel blocks. So I'm going to save my game right here. And then I'm going to press Alt F10 going to come over to record and replay and click it. The menu disappears and now the game is recording my actions. So I can now just wander around like this all the way around, maybe throw a few jumps in there. Amazing. And I am here. To stop recording, we press escape on the keyboard and it brings the menu back up. Now for the weird parts, we have to click reload world. Clicking reload world will do what you expect. It's going to reload the world and put you back to where your last save was, which will be before your character started moving. And here I am. My skin's changed, but that's just because the game has reloaded it. And a few of the other engineers have lost their skins. Whatever. But now this character has had his information saved and he's been reset, so he's ready to go. So what we do next is save the game. This just means that his actions have now been saved and we can move on to a separate character. So pressing Alt F10 and pressing F6, I've taken control of a new character to start recording with. But let's check on the first one. So there he goes. He's going to start running around just like I did. He should start jumping as he goes around there. There he goes. He's all happy. And then he's back to the start. Great. So that recording works. And that's basically how you do it. But unfortunately now, we have to reload the world. Reset him back to his original position. It really helps if you have a solid state drive. I'm using a regular hard drive so the load times are a little bit long. Right, so now I've reloaded the world, everything's been reset. I'm going to take control of a new character and put it down here. This character, I want him to, let's say, place some blocks down. And this is where the tool starts to become limiting. So I've got this block here. I want to place some light armoured blocks. I'm going to save the game. And I'm going to press Alt F10 and start recording. When you start recording, your other character will start moving. Just in case you wanted to do a battle. But I'm going to place some blocks right here. Like that. I'm just going to keep placing it until my other character stops moving. Done. I'm going to press escape. Reload the world. So here I am back in the world and I would like to save what I've just recorded with this new character. Pressing Alt F10, I'm going to switch to a new one so I don't mess up that recording and push some other engineers 
out the way. So now, let's replay that, shall we? So there goes the engineer, and there goes the second one. But notice how he's not building anything, despite me telling him to build blocks there. And that seems to be part of the limitation of this tool, is you can't have multiple recordings building a structure, because they just can't seem to place blocks. And it also becomes more limiting when you try and get into vehicles, because you can't activate cockpits. So I'm back in the world, and I'm going to bring up my spawn menu, and I think I'll spawn in, ooh, an atmospheric fighter. So I'm going to spawn this in, let's say, right there, and I'm going to spawn in the second one. A little bit, yeah, like that. Ooh, ooh, I hit the um, block limit. Give me one second just to remove, where is that? There we go, just gonna take control of that. That should have fixed that situation. And I'm gonna place that ship in there. This character which I am controlling right now, I'm going to place in this ship. And then I'm gonna press Alt F10 and take control of a new character. This is going to be my recording character. I will come back to the one I put in the ship in a minute. But I want this character to get into the plane. So I'm going to save the game here, because I'm ready to go. That's the starting point, Alt F10. Come to my replay tool, and I'm going to record it. This engineer, he's going to fly. And he's going to get into this. And then the plane's going to fly away, shoot some rockets maybe. Like that. Nothing special. And I'm going to end the recording there. Great. Reload the world. So that recording has now been done. Once again, save every time you reload the world. I cannot stress that enough. And I'm going to switch to a new character. And we're going to replay this. So off they go. There goes him. He's in his jetpack. And he's going to try and get into it. Oh dear. He just can't get into the cockpit, can you mate? No matter how much he tries, he simply cannot activate the cockpit, which is one of the limitations. So that's why I put this character in here. So I've reloaded the world, and this is basically how I've been getting around doing vehicles. Pressing Alt F10, I'm going to start recording. I'm going to run up to this. I want to get into it. So I'm going to click that, and then suddenly I'm going to fly away. Great. End that recording, reload the world. Now I've reloaded the world, I want to take control of the pilot. I think I spawned in too many engineers here. There we go. So now I'm in the world, I'm going to save it. And I'm going to press Alt F10 and start recording. I'm going to wait for him to go near the cockpit. Or, you know, he's going to miss completely. That is another problem with this tool. Once you start making a lot of characters, they tend to mess up a bit. But anyway, I'm going to fly around here, take control of this. I'm going to now shoot the engineers over here. Great, isn't it? Look at them all go. The Michael Bay experience. So what I was trying to do there is basically have my engineer run up to the cockpit fly away and have the plane take off and then with some clever camera work you can basically hide the, the fact that your engineer didn't get into the cockpit. Let's go and replay that. Uh oh, I chose the wrong engineer, there we go. And this will now take off. I don't know where he's going. And there we go. So you can control planes and that, you can use the buttons in the planes to shoot all the missiles. Look, there goes the missiles shooting there. It just seems to be interacting with objects. Opening doors, getting into cockpits, and stuff like that seems to be a bit of an issue. So one of the limitations that I was talking about is doors. Which, if I was to press Alt F10 and start recording, I'm going to open the door, come through, turn around, and then close the door up, finish recording. Now I'm going to reload the world and watch that back. So here I am back in the world, I'm going to save that in order to save the recording I just did. I'm now going to take control of a new engineer just to watch over how this one goes through the door. 
So all F10, I'm going to hit replay. Notice the problem. He will not open the door no matter how much I try. Even if I put a cockpit down and have one set to open a door on a button, so if I was to open the door by pressing 1, it will not record it. So there are some limitations. Guns, tools and all that still work well, so if you were to place steel blocks down which are damaged and you want them to weld it up, you can do that. But getting in and out of objects does seem to be part of the limitations of this. But that is basically it for the tool. If you don't want your recording, you just simply delete it and it deletes all of it. Just reload the world after that, save it to make sure it's all gone. But yeah, you can do some fancy stuff. You can do some nice space battles, which I tried to demonstrate at the beginning of this video. You can take control planes, use their missiles and all that. Or if you wanted to have an army assaulting a base, you can easily do that by spawning in as many engineers as you want. Look at them all. You can just keep spawning these in. I think I'm starting to hit the limit of how many you can actually have in the world. That is it for the replay tool. Hopefully this video has been helpful and I'll be back talking about that lovely DLC they released later on. So thank you all for watching and I'll be back with another video sometime soon. Bye bye.